Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for the collective. So I'm not tapping into one person's energies. I'm looking at the whole of the collective or at least an, an aspect that I'm tuning into. If you want a reading looking at your own specific energies, feel free to make a schedule of um, your own personal reading down in the description box. You can find that link. So collective, in the past, you have been in the energy of the waiting game Two of Wands. I love this picture. Uh, it really is the waiting game. It's like going around in circles. Time is flowing by, but there's this um, stagnation, this never ending cycle. Um, real Groundhog's Day, like the. Um, same day, same energy. So in the past, it looks like you were isolated. Um, hmm. Okay, there we go. Um, so it looks like you were in a relationship where um, you were put into a third party situation um, so as you're circling and waiting and waiting and waiting, um, there was someone who was giving their energy to someone else. I feel like, um, they, they ghosted you in the relationship. You... Um, they, they really like cut their energy off. It also feels like at some point you have now ghosted them back. Um, mm. <sighs> they were breadcrumbing you. They were, um, giving their energy to someone else. They, you were um, possibly a chaser, chasing their energy and, and giving to them. And then they would, instead of giving back to you, they were giving to someone else. Hmm. Okay. Um, it, it seems like um, you wanted to move on, move forward. There, there's some aspect of your life that you wanted progress. You wanted um, to create something new and build something with someone else with others who it feels like um an area of expertise that you have you're you're very ambitious action oriented fast thinking um new ideas and new inspirations coming in all the time new opportunities. Um, learning how to love yourself. Maybe even others seeing, even if you were in this relationship, there was an aspect of you that was pulling away and, and growing yourself, growing, um, you, on some level, you realize that you're not getting any return on your investment with this person in the past. 
And so you started investing on in yourself. Oh, okay. Um, this, this, you st stepping away a, to work on yourself. It doesn't look like you stepped away with someone else. It feels like a, a work opportunity, a passion project, something where you took your energy away from the relationship that's you're not getting anything out of and you started working on yourself. And by doing that, your person felt the your energy not coming to them, that you are um, not playing kind of a codependent game as much anymore. You wanted to fill your own cup, work on yourself. And this threatened the person you were with because if you can fill your own cup, if you can take care of yourself, um, then that messes up the whole game of keeping you pouring all your energy into them. If you can find your own satisfaction and fulfillment, not through them, it's like you changed the the rules of the game and that's not how the you started the relationship and how you've been in the relationship was all of your energy goes to them um and this made them uh this made them feel abandoned they they didn't want to um, they didn't want you to get out of this position of sacrificing yourself. You sacrificed your energy and yourself over and over again. And they, they were really fearful of this lack of control. Um, they part of their energy that uh, part of what they did was keep you depressed and sad as much as possible because, uh, oh, okay. So by keeping you down, like a, an emotional mental game of, of keeping your energy down, keeping you dependent on them, there's this trauma bonding. And if you find success on your own or with other people, then you might raise your self-esteem and realize you don't need them. And the, there's the, I'm seeing this pattern of um, very under the radar ways of, of uh, swiping the leg. So Cobra Kai uh, of, of being mean, mean spirited. Anytime you had a win or anything, not acknowledging it, not validating you trying to keep you um, down. So at some point they could come in as the hero and you'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm finally getting the validation and the love and the attention and the support. Thank you. And it's a trauma bonding. It's a method of, of manipulation to keep you down and feeling like you need this person. And so when they finally do show up as the hero that neither of you acknowledged that they were also the dragon, they were also the bad guy. And it keeps, it kept you in this cycle of, of I need this person. <sighs> 
I need this person because I'm trauma bonded to them. Yeah, this person is domineering, controlling, rigid, stubborn, a tyrant, reckless, reckless with, with their care for you. Mm. It kept you in this state of fearing um, the unknown, the unknown. Um, if they keep your self-esteem lower than theirs, which is really low, then you'll be af afraid of separating from them. It'll, it'll keep you playing safe and keep you bonded to them. Um, you might have this energy as well in your childhood. Chances are that they just took up from where you were trauma bonded to your family of origin or someone growing up. Whew. Okay. So collective. Your energy in present time is prosperity begins. So whatever this trauma bonding and this difficult relationship that you were in in the past, now you are, you've leveled up, you've, you, you're healing from this or you've healed from this. You're, all of you are kind of on different timelines and different spots. I, I'm even getting some of you are just coming to this realization. Welcome. I'm, I'm hoping a great amount of healing for everybody who this resonates with. This has been difficult energy and really difficult lessons. The lessons lead to you being a stronger, clear version of you more independent, not meaning that you don't need anybody, but more, um, it feels like you're taking responsibility for your choices, your decisions. You're not giving your energy away. You are learning to fill yourself. So as difficult as this has been, there are many, I'm just listing the top lessons that I'm tuning into. I feel like you will be finding lessons um, from this experience for a while now, like discovering new opportunities, new, you know, oh, I was doing that, but now, um, now I'm not, and I'm much happier. So as you've recovered, as you're healing, you are receiving blessings physical blessings, blessings that you can take care of yourself, blessings that you, you are in your truth. You are, oh, here's another one, learning how to set boundaries, really healthy boundaries. You have leveled up in your, your communication Your mind is clear. Your perceptive is broader. You're not in it so much that you, the confusion that you were kept in, the emotional drama and roller coaster that, that was the game that you were in, um, since you're no longer playing that game and you're no longer giving into this trauma bonding, you are very clear about who you are, what your truth is. The, the word that's coming through is you're fierce now. I mean, you have this beautiful energy, but you also have access to this fierceness. Um, wow, strength. There's something, uh, let's see whose energy this is. 
Okay, so your person's energy is still in your present energy. Um, I it feels like they are receiving karma for consciously trying to block your manifestations, consciously trying to block your well being, consciously trying to keep you sick not just mentally, like um, keeping you weak, maybe it's like for some of you, keeping you ill, your ill health. Your being weak physically was, um, I feel like that, okay, this trauma bonding energy is coming through that you, are weak and and ill is something they resented about you, but it's also a side effect of this energetic draining. And so it, on one end, you, at least on an energetic level, there's a punishment that you, you felt that I'm not strong enough. I feel like a burden and um, and so whenever they would do anything for you or help you out when you aren't feeling well, that, that again, there was like a trauma bonding there. They have a real fear of change. To, to change would be really painful because you have done a lot of the work. And it has been painful. The work, I mean, here, the work on yourself. And so, yeah, it is, it is painful to, to see the truth, to see your truth, to um, become more conscious of what's going on, to take responsibility for your actions. You've done so much soul searching and introspection. You've come to new places of wisdom. There's this um, independence that you've gained um, and inner guidance. You're not looking to outside of yourself for guidance. Sure. Um, Throwing some ideas back and forth with people helps you find your truth, but you're no longer seeking others' approval, seeking others, like, tell me what to do. Um, you might be struggling and making some missteps or you might at the beginning, but um, you're just learning that skill or relearning that skill of how to take care of yourself. There are um, new financial opportunities, things you're developing you have a lot of ambition and you're very diligent. I feel like you're learning like everything that you've wanted from this person, you are now giving to yourself. Everything that you gave to them, all that energy, support, guidance, love, you are now showering on yourself and saying, Watch how far I go. Wow. It looks like you are creating new partnerships. So most of it, for most of you, at least so far in this reading, it feels like work partnerships. Um, lasting. Oh, okay. For some of you, it's it, um, okay. 
<laughs> There's some passionate new beginnings, some fiery, um, feels like you're wanting to, um, you've filled your own cup, you're taking care of yourself. And there's also this sexual, um, I'm getting for some of you, there's a, a real owning your sexuality. Maybe part of what was going on in the, this past relationship was not really owning your sexuality. Maybe it was your sexual relationship with them was about how they wanted to enjoy sex and um it no matter what that looked like it felt very limited to you and it was about their enjoyment and when they wanted it was all on their timetable and what they wanted and it was not about your pleasure it was not about um there was not reciprocal energy in the bedroom either um and Also, they were giving their energy to someone else, even their sexual energy. Um, oh, yeah. It feels like you're, um, you're ready for some sexual healing. <laughs> Marvin Gaye. Uh, um, in a very powerful way. Not needing it, but like, from a owning your sexuality, realizing um, okay, now I'm getting that Julia Roberts um, pretty woman. I say when, I say who you get to decide. Your um, boy, it feels like this fire that lit you up to give you the energy to leave this relationship is now coming through in a very sexual way. Um, you're really finding and releasing any of this manipulation energy. Um, it feels like you now have a perimeter around you where, you know, alarm will go off an internal alarm will go off. If anybody comes near you with the energy of manipulation, someone wanting to use your energy. Um, yeah, it just doesn't, um, Boy, there's this sense of responsibility. I'm taking responsibility for my focus, my thoughts, my actions, my words. And um, I, I, there's a learning about how people have manipulated your emotions in the past. Boundaries, that's it. You're putting up really amazing boundaries and you can spot someone who's deceptive a mile away. Uh, the person right now, the person from your past, um, they're having the opposite effect. It feels like karma coming back that um, part of what I feel like how they poo-pooed you, how they put you down was that you were financially dependent on them, that um, your self-worth flowed from them, that they actively worked on um, keeping you dependent on them, that you could never do enough that you couldn't survive without them. You couldn't thrive. You definitely couldn't survive without them and you for sure couldn't thrive without them. Um, and by all that, that karma of blocking someone else's blessings, 
um, it feels like the, the karma is coming back on them, like they're getting blocked in some way. Right. What's this? It's a new energy coming in really quickly, which is a paradox. It looks like you've got a new energy coming in. Um, Knight of Pentacles. So it's the slowest moving knight of the deck, but he's definitely going to get to his destination hardworking, responsible. It's interesting. It's like, okay, okay. It looks like all this hard work that you've been doing on taking care of yourself, your work, this passion project or whatever this is that kind of helped you give back to yourself um, some fast changes are happening. It feels like it's, um, on a, it's blowing up in the best way. It's, um, you're seeing results from all that work that why you're seeing such results is that you are releasing this codependent energy. You're releasing limiting beliefs. You're detaching from anything that isn't for your highest and greatest good. You're finding and enjoying your freedom. You're realizing that you were the one keeping yourself in this cycle, in this unhappy cycle, that you were your own jailer and you were your own hero, that you opened the the doors the trick is when that resentment creeps in and blaming this other person um just remember that um you kept saying yes yes you were not in a, a place of clear thinking someone was taking advantage of you but there, there was like an unwillingness to see the truth. It's okay to take responsibility for your part. It doesn't um, let this person off the hook energetically, but it's taking your power back. If you blame this person and they did this to me and you're a victim to it, then you're still giving them your power. See what I mean? But if you notice, like, I was naive, I was trauma bonded or whatever, taking responsibility for your choices, then you're changing the whole dynamic. You're taking your power back. And by taking your power back, you are then receiving the benefit of owning and being responsible for your power by the universe sending you blessings. Whew. Okay, so your higher self is in the energy of material and spiritual prosperity. This is six of pentacles. Six of pentacles has come up. Yes. Um, okay, give to yourself. Um, giving to yourself first and then others. You are a very giving person. Remember that your value is not how much your value is not wrapped up in how much you can give to others. You are valuable just by existing. You are worthy. You are ne necessary just by existing. Now, from that point, what do you want to do with what you have? 
where do you want to share your energy? There, you don't have to prove to anybody your value or worth. You are worthy and valuable just by existing. It might be time to, to look at um, addictions because this trauma bonding kind of energy is like an addiction as well. Are there other aspects where you are drinking or using drugs to help you stay in a toxic space? Maybe addicted to, um, ooh, maybe addicted to others needing you. A wounded healer. There's some powerful self healing going on that your higher self is like. Be gentle with yourself. These are these are core issues that you're working through. Okay, to remember, to keep in mind that there will be echoes as you heal, there will be people and situations that arise that remind you of this energy as like an echo. Maybe friends, maybe family members who are demanding I feel like now it will feel like a demand demanding your attention demanding you come to when they when you're needed I feel like the the real oh this is a beautiful lesson this is a beautiful lesson your lesson right now is using your intuition and your discernment and everything that you've learned to get into a neutral place. And when someone wants something from you, noticing if it's, if it's a reciprocal energy or if, it's, or if you're being used if there's no satisfaction or if that energy is, is a, um, a blessing, if someone is offering you something, so for everyone's benefit. So an offer, an invitation comes in and someone's, it's really about them receiving benefit and no one else, or it's unsatisfying, it's not for your highest and greatest good, but it's pulling you in because someone needs you. And so you've got like an addiction to people needing your energy versus some uh, an offering that really is from the divine that lifts everyone up, that you feel drawn to, and by your excitement and, and joy and the idea of that energy, you can put your energy behind because just by doing that, you're excited and you're getting energy back. Do, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense that um, there's a real discernment between um, echoes from past lessons that are coming up to like, are you sure you learned this? And real opportunities. Your challenge right now is temptation. Your chat, so those echoes coming back in. It, I'm getting that it doesn't make who, people bad or it's just an energy that's rippling through your 
energetic field. It feels like it's pushing tender buttons, wounds. Um, so you can, again, make decisions, take responsibility for your actions, your words, your energy. And do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to this or do you want to move forward? Because you have lots of choices coming towards you right now, a lot of opportunities, and some of them are illusions. Some of them are um, familiar. You might resonate with them and they might be familiar because it reminds you of a, um, as painful as this has been, it, there was some level of comfort, maybe because you've also been in this energy pattern, uh, toxic uh, trauma bonding in your family of origin. And so um, it, the, on some level, there might be a drawback to something that's comfortable new energy coming in that isn't toxic will, would feel kind of weird, uncomfortable. Someone really connecting, someone really um, reciprocating would feel bizarre to someone who's been in toxic energy for most of their life. The, the wonderful news is that you are incredibly intuitive you, you have learned to trust yourself you've learned to trust your intuition it feels like you are very connected with the divine you know on whether your bank account says it or not you have an abundance that you can tap into um, a lot of you as your consciousness and awakening has happened you are more attuned to the earth the moon cycles planetary cycles there's um your world is it feels bigger it feels broader um and you use this intuition to take care of yourself now you're so compassionate your energy is so beautiful I can see why um, toxic people want to use your energy and maybe even hurt, like cling on, a cling on. You've got some cling ons in your space because you are so nurturing and healing and emotionally stable and again, intuitive but it feels like they, they want that for themselves. But instead of, of doing the work to become that, they, people use you. Um, and then keep you really insecure and doubting yourself. Um, it's like keeping the battery dull unaware. Wait, there's a, a, an image coming in. Uh, energetic vampires. Okay. This reading is already long, but so I'm getting this message of energetic vampires are really attracted to your energy. Because you have such a beautiful energy. And you know how vampires in the movies, uh, old movies and stories, they can't see their own reflection. You are their mirror and they demand that you reflect back to them greatness as they drain you. They can't see their true reflection because their true reflection is that they're behaving in a monstrous way that they're um there's nothing to them they can't see their reflection because they're an illusion 
they're using your energy and maybe others around them. It doesn't feel like there's much substance to this person. They might connect in a very shallow way. They might be flashy or want others. They want the to, they want what you provide, what your energy provides. And they don't know how to, to be fair. They, they are stuck in this cycle and they don't know any other way of being and they're unwilling. Wow, wow. You are leveling up on a physical level. Some of you, as you're leaving the, and healing from this relationship, you are physically feeling better because you are giving to yourself, because you are not in this mental trap. You are giving that nurturing and abundance to yourself and create using that beautiful energy that I'm tuning into this amazing energy, this amazing leveling up your intuition to guide you. And, um, it's like, you're, you're finally figuring out how to parent yourself. I'm getting that a lot of this is because of, um, toxic parents and I'm not throwing your parents under the bus. I am just saying that they, um, They didn't know how to support you. That's a nice judgmental, non-judgmental way of saying um, that they, they just passed on what they learned, how they learned to be. And they didn't know how to support you or love you in a way that was healthy for you. And so now you are learning how to parent yourself and um, it's kind of like I'm feeling this healed ch inner child. You're healing your inner child as you're doing this. And there's so much personal transformation. I feel like for a long time that you avoided um, transforming because there's just so much fear but finally um it got to a point where um i feel like spirit opened your eyes in a really clear way and um you started seeing things seeing yourself and seeing the landscape of relationships clearly and what's beautiful is you stepped up you've leveled up, you are, um, wow, and just such a powerful place. So, all right, I hope this reading resonates and was helpful. Thank you so much for all your likes and welcome to new subscribers. Welcome back to my subscribers. I'm thoroughly enjoying the comments that you leave and your likes. And I just, I'm having so much fun doing this and connecting with all of you. Thank you so much. Take care.